cook only where it's allowed. Usually in the basements or in the rec rooms, there's like kitchens, cooking there. Uh, you keep your cooking area clean and free of anything that can burn. Keep an eye on what you are cooking, especially if you're cooking at high temperatures. And if a fire starts in a microwave, keep the door closed and un unplug the unit. Always keep candles on sturdy holders so they don't fall over and start a fire. Never let them burn when you're not in the room. Always keep candles away from little children and animals for obvious reasons. And always make sure they are completely out before leaving a room. Four things I want to talk about would be keeping lamps, light fixtures, and light bulbs away from anything that can burn. Never use an extension cord with large appliances like a refrigerator. Do not overload a circuit, which I've seen many times. Use only surge protectors or power strips that have eternal overload protection. In conclusion, the college dorm fire safety. There are several specific causes for fires in and on and off campus housing including cooking, candles, smoking, and overloaded power strips. For most students, the last fire safety training they received was in grade school, but with new independence come new, new responsibilities. It is important that both off-campus and on-campus students know their risks and prevention actions that can save their lives. So be smart.